Remember to always say nope to scary situations in real life and get out of there fast because this is what happens when you say yes. Number 12. This video starts with someone trying this person's door like they really want to get in. The only problem is, nobody's there at all, and yet the knob won't stop moving. I can understand if there was a string tied to the other side, but there's not. And even if there was, there should be no way to make a door do what this one does next. At 29 seconds, you can tell no one is holding the top of the door. No one is touching it at all. Number 11. This YouTuber is exploring the abandoned living quarters of a psycho when they see the spirit of its previous owner crouch low in the doorway. It looks like the spirit disappears, but I have a feeling that they could have simply ducked down behind the door here and let the camera run by. He later comes across a hooded figure in the window who appears to transform from a faceless spirit into a human. As they drop from view, the window closes with no one touching it, so I strongly suggest this is paranormal. <laughs> The YouTuber has seen enough and wants out of there fast, but the hooded figure somehow travels a great distance ahead and rips the door open. This time you can hear her low and unearthly voice as she grunts a single note. <laughs> Were they a ghost or a real person is the question, though I feel we all probably know the answer. Number 10. A Texas police officer has someone pulled over and is too absorbed in conversation to notice the gigantic arachnid sneaking up on him from behind. The monstrous spider crouches low and steps off the curb into the street. Its prey still does not seem to notice, so it gets a little braver and scurries over until eventually it's standing next to his shoe, ready to sink its fangs into his leg. Only when you watch this video again will you realize this was actually a normal sized spider crawling across the window in front of the dash cam. This odd angle simply made the bug look as big as a household pet. Number 9. A YouTuber named C. Tuspa is driving around the outskirts of Nevada when he breezes past a sign that says keep out. Less than a minute later, he comes across a fenced in area full of rusted out barrels. Some of them are tipped over and a crystallized compound leaks out. Some of it gray, some white. There is a name written across one of the barrels and as he reads it out loud, all I can focus on is the part that says, it severely affects human skin. Sodium hydroxide. I looked it up, and sodium hydroxide is used in industrial drain and oven cleaners. Coming in contact with high concentrations can cause bad things to happen to your eyes, skin, and even lungs from breathing it in. You really shouldn't be anywhere near the stuff, let alone a landfill full of it. So as he handles a chunk with his bare hands, I can only imagine what the future consequences are going to be. Someone please tell me that this chemical loses potency over time and that he is going to be okay. Number 8. I came across this video on the Spanish community on YouTube, so if you speak Spanish, you may be able to help me figure out exactly what's going on here. This footage was allegedly submitted by a follower of YouTuber Breakman and appears to show a family mourning a recent loss. I think this woman being filmed is the cameraman's grandmother and she is very clearly upset, but if you look into the other room, the silhouette of a person is seen peering in. If I hadn't pointed it out, I don't think anyone would have noticed because it's so subtle in the background, which makes me think that this video is real, almost like the passed away family member is still watching over their family, but if that isn't the case, then it appears this house has a secret residence that this family is not aware of. Number 7. This video taken in a remote Siberian village shows not one, not two, three suns creeping over the horizon. Теперь у нас три солнца всходит. Раз, два и три. Вот так вот бывает на севере. Блять, три солнышка.
Some may view this as a miracle, but the eerie sight fills me with dread rather than hope. I think this is real because some small details, like the sweeping purple lens flare at 24 seconds and the way the sun shines through the window until someone moves in front, would be difficult to fake in a way that looks real. Is a triple sunrise like this even possible? Someone please clue me in. Number 6. Shania Lawrence watches in disbelief as a man in her words, appears in the puff of a black cloud. Only his legs and lower body are visible until 45 seconds, when he becomes normal again. This form does not last more than 5 seconds, before he fades away once again. I have a strong suspicion that this could be a camera malfunction, but I'm not sure how, so feel free to share the technical details if you happen to know them. Even if this video turns out to just be a glitch, Shania should still be at least a little freaked out that someone was pacing in circles for no reason at all. Number 5. Do you have eye mites? These tiny creatures eat, burrow, and produce on your face at night. And the cat sleeps next to me. The cat sleeps over my head. The cat sleeps on my back. The cat sleeps on my chest. The cat sleeps in the pillow next to me. I, I'd never heard of eye mites, so when he said I have eye mites, it was like, oh, this is really gross. I mean, so I, I, yeah, I freaked out a little bit. And a doctor is the only way to find out if they're on you. For 20 minutes, they have to scrub your eyelids clean with a medical device that gets way too close to the eye itself. Any procedure that requires the doctor to hold my eye open is just, well, nope. So are you saying nope yet? Well, this part won't help. Next up is a powerful light directly in the eyes. He's not exactly screaming for mercy, but there's no way that can be comfortable for any length of time. These little globs are what the mites look like, and what you would be hoping the doctors don't see. So the next time you get something in your eye, who knows, it might actually be one of them. Number 4. A YouTuber ironically named Island Girl gets stranded at sea halfway to Bimini Island on her birthday. The boat is taking on a lot of water. So currently sinking sinking for my birthday weekend. Which they are woefully unprepared to deal with, as evidenced by this small red cup and a blue cooler, both of which barely do anything to keep them afloat. Thankfully, they have something much more useful, a handheld radio. They try over 60 times to contact the Coast Guard and get no response. The water later reaches the seats before they are finally told to hang tight by the Coast Guard. It has been 30 minutes since they radioed for help, but at this rate they probably have half an hour left before they are swimming in shark infested waters. They cope with the situation by making jokes like it's no big deal, but later acknowledge that they would have been totally helpless if not for the radio, and might not have been rescued until days later, if at all. Number 3. Nemo 1897 passes by an abandoned atomic plant, surrounded by old chain wire fence. He doesn't go in, but a little farther down the trail, he comes across something way more bizarre and horrifying. Y por ahí va la madre de todos los cien pies. This giant centipede walks right by, its insect armor gleaming under the tropical sun. It looks really convincing, but I think it's just a nice editing job. At certain points, such as 1 minute and 2 seconds, you can really see its legs kind of clipping through each other as it walks. He sees a different centipede about a minute later, but this time it kind of looks like it is hovering above the ground and more obviously edited. The way the light reflects off its back looks more like computer graphics than photorealism. They did a great job overall though, and I wasn't sure until it was edited until watching a second time. Number 2. A YouTuber named Jonah is sure that his house is haunted, and thousands of viewers agree with him that it probably is. Am I making you mad? I think we're like taunting it too much. Yo, seriously. That but when the meter starts to respond to Vardon in particular, he gets really stressed out. Am I making you mad? I think we're like taunting it's fine. Don't be scared. It's on the bed with no other electronics nearby besides the camera, so it really shouldn't be going off like that. They decide that since Vardon gets the biggest reaction, he should probably ask the ghost to do something. Let me know if you think what happens next is really a spirit or just one of them. If you're here, 
move an object or move something around us. Play the sound. I think it could have been a spirit, because when Vardon gets up to look, you can see no one is around, and Jonah and his other friend are standing on the other side of the room the whole time. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills, and if you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Have you seen the number 15 music video yet? If not, you're definitely missing out. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person. So if you're generous enough to hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. This way, you'll be notified of the new videos I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Number 1. It's nighttime and the Savage Squad is exploring the allegedly haunted Rhodes Hotel, built in 1893 in Atlanta, Indiana. At 6 minutes and 28 seconds, this ghostly silhouette appears to lean forward from behind a curtain as a member of the Savage Squad walks past. But as his flashlight passes over at 6 minutes and 49 seconds, it's revealed to just be the back of a chair and a fan. This passing specter is much more questionable. It looks very believable at first, but a closer look shows that the spirit is wearing suspiciously wearing similar looking clothing as the Savage Squad investigator, specifically the baggy sweatshirt, so I'd say there is a strong chance that this is editing. Here is the ghost moving at 10 seconds, and here is the paranormal investigator moving at 1 minute and 14 seconds. The movements are similar, so are they the same? Not even the comments section will keep you safe from these scary videos, so scroll down all you want. It's only a temporary solution.